So what we need is um, your shader ruler. This is going to be used at the end for the cover. You need two pieces of wood um, that is larger than the book itself. This is used as a buffer uh, so that the clamps itself do not dent the book um, when, you, when you apply pressure. This is used um, for glue itself. These clamps were bought at City Mill. They're about, um, I say, 35 for um, this set right here. This uh, paper clip itself is just to help you um, to maintain a straight edge once we get to binding. Um, of course, everyone has their um, exacto knife. Um, what we um, suggest is this um, glue right here. This is the pH glue. This is archival glue. The difference between this and say Elmer's glue is um, the fact that this one, this over time, will not deteriorate your paper or leave a mark. Um, so we always recommend that you use this one itself. So when it dries over time, it'll stay white versus say Elmer's glue, which turns yellow over time due to the acid. Um, this dish itself is for the glue itself. You can get this for about a quarter at the bookstore, as well as this brush. But I'm not too sure about the price. I would say about like under five. Um, this is just to get um, an even coating on the bind itself. And then everyone will have their cutting mat and their ruler. This one is just to um, create the cut itself. Um, or you can go down to Kinko's. So this is two are used here. All right, so what I'm going to introduce to you right now is the, the perfect bind. This one is just single page that um, is printed front and back. But you can also use the French fold and the technique is exactly the same. The thing that is most important is the straight edge over here. So what you do is that along the straight edge, you tap it down until you get the perfect edge. And using this paper clip, you, um, you clap it in place so that you have it and it'll stick. on the table itself. Can everyone see that? No. All right. So um, you place it off the table just a bit, enough so that you can use the clamps itself, kind of the way it's to be clamped. So what you do is that you lay it against the table and then sandwich it itself. From here you then, um, from here you then clamp it. You want an even amount of pressure, so two clamps is needed, and you want to What you want to do is clamp it onto the paper itself, not off the page, because then if you were to do that, your, um, the wood won't be um, perpendicular anymore. It'll be like this. So you want it onto, on the paper itself. All right, so we'll clamp it. probably going to be the most tedious work because that straight is, is most important. All right, next you need the box. This is used for your paper to um, lay directly um, straight. The last thing you want to do is bend your book while you're um, gluing itself. So as we can see here, the binding is really straight. This is essential um, when doing this bind itself. What you want to do now is score your paper. The scoring allows for the glue to adhere to each individual page. Some people recommend bending the page upon gluing to um, have the glue go inside the book itself. The problem with that is that the pages become glued and so the book won't open as perfectly as you want it. So scoring is essential. So you just um, go in diagonal and then you go in the opposite direction and straight. The whole point of this is to create enough grooves so that the glue has something to attach itself to. So you could either use this, um, this straight edge uh, in your X-Acto knife or you could use the sandpaper. Um, there's no real right way to do it, but I just use this one because it's not handy and we always have it itself. So. You use sandpaper, you just go like this? Yeah, but you want to make sure that this is straight because when you do the sandpaper, sometimes the paper pages will shift. This one won't cause shifting at all because it's going in one line. You know, like the, the sandpaper has too much of an area to cover. Yeah. So just continue this until you feel that there is enough of a mark. I 
mean, the mark is very small, but it's just enough for the glue to adhere to. So for time's sake, that's as much as I'm going to do. So using your dish, you want to apply the glue. Give it a nice puffing amount. This is about good. So what you want to do now is apply just a small, even amount from top to bottom. Um, sometimes the glue will go off the edge. I would recommend um, wiping it off right away. The, um, the reason for that is that when you do the, um, do the cover itself, you don't want there to be a bump. So starting from the top, just do a light even coating. you want to do is have at least five passes for its optimal amount. And I created this right here at the end um, ahead of time to show you how it looks like once you have at least five. So how often do you have to apply? Um, it's every 30 minutes for the glue to dry up just about. Um, an hour would be efficient. So completely dry. you have to wait for it to completely dry. And then you want to keep applying um, five layers on top of it. This is to make sure that the bond on top is really um, strong because the last thing you want is your pages to come out. That's why we scored it previously because the glue is now within those seams, you know? And um, the, the excess um, pH glue that's on here is just for added um, strength. So you can see from here that this is the result. So for the five passes, you have to wait an hour and then for each pass, it, you have to wait an hour. You want the glue to dry, because the last thing you want to do is just push around um, the glue that's about to um, strengthen. Is it 30 minutes? It's 30 minutes is about good, but an hour would be optimal. And like, to be honest, you shouldn't rush it, because I've rushed it before, and when I, the second time I run, 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 run my brush over the glue, like it would it grab the glue, it. and it's still tacky, so it makes bombs. Yeah. So, you see it on that book. <laughs> yeah, so we do recommend to wait for each pass. So that's why this one is the most ambitious, but it's um, it's almost error-free. 